The meeting of Tottenham and Chelsea on the 6th of December 1997 marked the first game in charge when he delivered a first away win of the season at Everton. But Gross had to make do without skipper Sol Campbell, who was missing with a shoulder problem. John Scales came into play at centre-back, with Scottish international Colin Calderwood moving into the holding role in midfield team all season, and he made one alteration for this one. Following on from a 4-0 win against Derby, Torre Andre Flo came in for Mark Hughes, with Gianluca Vialli left on the bench again. This one is Gary Bloom. And we're underway, Chelsea playing from right to left in this first half. Vega, this is Ferdinand, Fox to his right. Fox now. Shinina, what a save! Tottenham have made a very bright start to this match. Ginola with a free kick. Good effort by Ramon Vega. Petrescu drifted round Wilson. And here's Rousseau, who's got him behind Carr. Flo, Petrescu, great save by Walker. Used. Outstanding saves. Leboeuf tries a shot, another good save by Walker. Chelsea are finding it out this week. Fox, Nielsen in support. Nielsen, Ginola! Goalkeeper Enderhoy. Lovely football here by Tottenham. Good break here, Zola. Petrescu. Plenty of blue shirts forward now. Petrescu. Flo tried to get there. And Zola. Yeah, that little instant involving Zola. And here's Zola again. Flo! Super goal! Chelsea take the lead. The cross delivered by Gianfranco Zola and headed in by Tor Andre Flo. And five minutes before half time, Spurs, who've dominated this match, find themselves behind. Two minutes to go to half time. Tottenham trail 1 0. Sitter with a free kick. It's 1 1. Ramon Vegas done it again. Tweak against Everton. Has headed Spurs level here. No one picked out his leap at the back post. And Tottenham quite deservedly are level. Is Lasso. Good cross by Lasso. He really does cross the ball quite superbly. And that's the half-time whistle. And the half-time score from White Hart Lane. It's Tottenham 1, Chelsea 1. Surprisingly, Chelsea have lost four of their last five away games. Uh, Petrescu. Nichols at the far post. It's gone in. Chelsea take the lead within two minutes of the start of the second half. Petrescu laid this on. Lovely cross. Leboeuf, Petrescu, oh, that's a great goal. What a superb pass by Frank Leboeuf. And the most sublime of touches here by Dan Petrescu. The man will be facing England in the World Cup finals. Glenn Hoddle's team beware. Edinburgh, Ferdinand, Wilson helping it forward. Oh, and uh, Justin Edinburgh followed through on Ed De Hoy. Flo, you just have to admire this Chelsea football. This is Flo, and what a goal. 
It was a wonderful move by Chelsea. And Tor Andre Flo scores his second goal of the game. And Chelsea make it 4-1. Zola held the ball into. Ginola's won the ball. This is Ferdinand. Les Ferdinand sums up Tottenham's afternoon, really. Petrescu, Di Matteo. Just the wrong side. Calderwood's made a mistake. Zola has support from Dan Petrescu. Nichols is arriving, still Zola, Nichols, it's another. That mistake by Colin Calderwood, cruelly rammed home, eventually by Mark Nichols. Calderwood made the mistake, he was exposed here by Zola, who just waited for support, released the ball at the ideal time. Rule Fox, Darren Anderton, Ed De Hoy is probably Chelsea's man of the match. Leberth brings it out of defence. Flo is onside. Is this his hat trick? It is, you know. What a way for Chelsea to round off this incredible performance at White Hart Lane. And once again, it was a superb pass by Frank Leberth which released Flo, and look at that for a tidy finish. Christian Gross will have a very uncomfortable few days till Tottenham play again. Eats to the press, and the Chelsea fans, everybody else is home for an early cup of tea, and this will go down in history as one of the blackest days in Tottenham's history. Final score, incredibly, from White Hart Lane. Spurs 1, Chelsea 6.